what's up guys um, I thought I'm gonna do another quick video uh, to show you how uh, how the virtual terminal or telnet connection works and uh, possibly I might uh, configure the secure shell connection we call SSH connection uh, version 2 right um, I'm going to use uh, my VMware Windows 7 workstation to configure this. Before I bring the VMware, I'm going to configure the basic configuration which I need for my telnet connection. Right. So I'm going to do I'm going to change this. Okay. Now I'm going to change my I'm going to change my name to yeah, okay. line con zero password Cisco login and I need login sync and I'm going to put line VTY zero how many we got uh, One connection and I'm gonna put password Cisco login and login sync. Um, if you put login sync here, you need a different command to set up in user privilege mode. I will show you that uh, uh, when I bring my VMware workstation right uh, next so we have basic command I'm gonna enable actually enable pass Cisco enable uh, secret class right and done right so we have basic setup uh, of our uh, router now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna bring my Windows 7 machine uh, which is a cloud let's say uh, I can change the host name I'm gonna say this is Windows 7 okay okay and I need my Ethernet connection Ooh, ports are not available good right let's configure this so I have Windows 7 uh, machine I'm gonna say I'm gonna say using VMware network adapter vmnet.1 add that simple as that click ok ok then we should have an Ethernet connection to my laptop uh, this is my laptop, uh, you know, the network connections. So VMware adapter VM uh, net one. If you double click properties, um, as you can see, I have no IP address. IP address automatically uh, obtained. So, right, I hate this name, so I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna change to you know, cloud or something. Okay, so it's not necessary, but I like to keep it clean. Okay, and this is a Windows 7 PC. Um, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna configure. Uh, I'm gonna configure my uh, VMware workstation, which is Windows 7. Uh, workstation right so I'm gonna say in cpa.cpl to bring my local area network connection double click and I'm gonna change this IP address to 192.168.100.10 okay so what we are gonna do in we are 
assign an IP address to this virtual uh, machine okay which is connected to my router virtual router GNS3 router with this cloud interface okay now I have set uh, right I need IP address setting up now so if I say conf t int e00 IP address 192.168.100 wasn't it? 100.1 just to make sure okay. config yeah 100.1 255.255.255.0 and no shot theoretically I should be able to ping my uh, 192.168.100.1 connection yeah so I can ping now um, I want this router uh, CLI running in the background to show you some cool stuff so keep that in your mind right okay so i have that and have my workstation so theoretically if i go to my router do ping 192.168.100.10 i should get successful ping uh, from router okay now here what we're gonna do we're gonna set up a terminal connection telnet connection okay now as you can see you need a potty download potty to your uh, vmware workstation and telnet what's my ip address 192.168.100.1 and enter voila uh, I need Cisco and class. See now, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run. Okay, so I'm gonna run debug IP packet. Okay, in a second, can you see this background in here? Okay, um, at the same time, I'm gonna ping bring the cmd and ping uh, 192.168.100.1 you should see in here see that debugging you know login messages are running at the background which is our potty connected to the gns but potty in here doesn't show me anything even though i'm in the router interface now you need a command uh, let me run show run see it's still running it's still running in here so if I go and check my line V device right I can see I have put login synchronous command but I can't see any debug command you need a you need a this is a this is a privilege mod command uh, which is called terminal monitor all you need to do is press that and you will see your debug commands running on your potty in a virtual and um, vmware workstation now obviously i can type on all oh, to stop all my debugging so there you go so we have successfully created a um, telnet session between genus 3 which is here via our virtual uh, environment which is VMware workstation uh, environment so now as you know the terminal actually i will do a separate video for ssh command depending on the time i have left um, 